to like remember the soldiers who have died in war and well everyone really. Go ahead, These are the people 10-year-old Kane Susco is thinking about when singing the song One Tin Soldier. The intermediate choir student is rehearsing with the Whistler Children's Course in preparation for the Remembrance Day ceremonies in Whistler. For Remembrance Day, we always sing O Canada and God Save the Queen. But this year we are singing One Tin Soldier, made very popular in the 1960s, and Imagine by John Lennon. Our younger kids have sign language for that, and we'll be joined with the Whistler Singers, the Adult Community Choir. The Whistler Children's Chorus will celebrate their 20th anniversary in the coming year under the leadership of choir director Allison Taylor and Janet Hamer. We also do a spring concert and this year's concert is very special because it is the 20th year of the Children's Chorus and Molly Boyd, the founder, is coming to conduct at the concert as well as lots of our kids who are almost 30 years old now are coming back to sing in the reunion concert. The Whistler Children's Chorus is a community choir that reaches out to kids from kindergarten to high school. Details are available at whistlerchorus.org. The members of our choir come from all the schools in Whistler, from Waldorf, Myrtle Phillips, Spring Creek, Ecole Passerelle, um, as well as Whistler Secondary, and we often also have kids who are homeschooled. So it's open to anybody that wants to sing, and it's non-auditioned and we keep it as affordable as possible. And of course, if a, if a child cannot afford it, that's no problem. Kane has sang with the Wizard Children's Chorus since he was in kindergarten, and he intends to carry this note right until high school graduation. I just like singing. I'd say that it's really fun and you should sign up because it's just a lot of fun. They're really fun, loving teachers. They're really nice. I have sang songs in so many different languages. I think once we sang it in Hebrew or... Hebrew, English or otherwise, these kids from different age groups harmonize under one score in joy. Music opens the world for kids. Not all our kids will become performing musicians, but they'll be audiences and they'll find ways to have music as part of their lives. For a lot of our youth, music is a great way of expressing their emotions. And on Remembrance Day, that emotion will be a song of peace. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.